But up next, Gustav Hedlund. Gustav, I remember him in 2018 as a junior world champion, out totaling the Open. Very rare you saw that. We knew he was special on that day, and here he is all these years later, always a perennial contender, just inches away from upsetting Keiko in 2021, back and wants vengeance, opening with 300 kilos representing Sweden. His training has been on fire recently. Hasn't had to travel too far. I talked to Alex Erickson, his coach, and... Oh, yeah, oh, wow. Man, that was the easiest statement. I was, so I was just about to say, they told me strongest he has ever been, and that is scary. Yeah, he looks it. His best on the platform so far is 320. <laughs> I think he was dead. Well, that boosts the other 93s yeah. Kaiko who never misses on his second attempt that is unheard of for Kaiko to miss a lift on his second I've seen him put 300 in for his third anyway but now if Kaiko misses his third he's really far back 315 for Gustav and now the 93s have an opportunity here Could can Gustav first. take it yeah I think he can 15 kilos barely slowed him down. Three white lights, so the jury cannot intervene. They can only jump in if there's w at least one red. Gustav slamming the door shut on the jury. In the battle of 93, she's got a whole lot more interesting, didn't it, Joe? 325 for Gustav Hedlund. 315 was the second attempt. 320 is previous personal best. Like we said, Keiko, five kilos below his personal best. Gustav, five kilos over his personal best. What does that tell you, Joe? The fight is on should he hit this. It really is. And again, Gavin Aiden, though, he's chasing that world record. Hit it on his second attempt. The 93s, so close right now. On a day that Keiko's vulnerable, the other 93s seem to be leveling up. Let's see if Gustav can hit this. If he can, he can really challenge for the podium. Oh, wow. Great squat from Gustav. Three wide lights. Again, the jury cannot intervene. And that's clean lifting by Sweden's favorite son, Gustav Hedlund. Gustav Hedlund, 197.5. Gustav has hit 217.5, 20 kilos off that. And Gustav, a phenomenal squat session. Body like a Greek god. If Gustav goes nine for nine, he's gonna be very difficult to beat. And Team Sweden are pre precise with their attempt selection. I was about to look to see who the bench press world record holder was, but of course it's Kaiko, isn't it? And that was smooth. He's got plenty of room to grow there. I can barely hold back a smile. Now, 210 for Gustav Hedlund. Gustav, 217.5, his previous personal best. 12 and a half kilo jump, and that's a big jump on bench press, but he had a big PR on squat. Strength levels are high. I asked Gustav how he's feeling coming into this. He said if there's any small nags, it's in the upper body bench press. So let's see how 210 moves. So this match is the second attempt in Malta. He did 210 there. Now, we can't hear the referee's calls, but was that too fast? Uh, ah, yeah, you beat the count. Yeah. Nice call, Joe. You didn't even hear it. You just thought to yourself. But I saw the referee's hand, and he definitely went before it. I mean, sometimes the, uh, the command is out of um, sync with the motion. 215 for Gustav Hedlund. Opting to go up despite missing 210. Two and a half kilos below his personal best. And I told you, coming in, if they thought there was any situation they need to be wary about, it's the upper body. Had a fantastic squat, squat session. If he leaves 
bench press of 197.5. He's behind. Now, is it good stuff to jump the command? It was a command jump, but the mm. press looked good. Yeah. I can understand why they've gone up then. Did he do it again? Oh! Let's I want to see if his butt stayed down. It did, two to one. One of the refs might have he breathes a sigh of relief. <laughs> no, I, woo I don't think we get the replay from the side view, so we won't see if his butt came up. It looked like one of the refs might have called him in a butt raise, and yeah, you can't even see the hips. We'll take his word for it. There didn't look to be too much movement there, though. No. And Gustav Hedlund, 327.5. This will put him at 867.5 and nudge him ahead of Keiko. And again, Gustav, historically speaking, has a bigger deadlift than Keiko. So if he takes the lead with the opener, it'll be difficult for Keiko to catch up. Not impossible, but difficult. Oh my goodness. That moved really well. Karen yeah, Best is 345, but it looks like he's got more in the tank today. And he's been looking for revenge on that 2021 Worlds, because now if Gustav hits his second attempt, Keiko's behind, or Keiko's ahead, sorry, and Gustav's behind. He's a real candidate for the podium now, Gustav Hedlund. Made easy work of that one, Joe. And Gustav pre previously has hit 345, so Keiko actually has a bigger deadlift. 355 will move Gustav Hedlund fourth from fourth to first overall. Wow and give him an 895 total. This would be a story. Yeah, this would be huge. Look at the look on his face. He looks confident. He's already smiling. This would be huge. He's done 345 on the first platform. Can he do 10 kilos more? If he wins, not only the battle of the 93s, but moves himself into first place. Oh, what a story that would be. Oh! It was and easy. Revenge it is for Gustav Hedlund. He's waited all these years for this moment to finally emerge as the number 193, and here we are. Not quite over, but it's hard to see how he could be knocked off the top spot now. Carlos Peterson Griffith still left the pole, but wow. Good stuff, quite rightly enjoying his moment.